Hi there, um, this video comes with some exercise files and a cheat sheet for Photoshop. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for those. Okay, it's part of my larger course, which you can go and check out. There'll be a link there as well. Um, all right, enjoy the video. Hi there, this video is going to take brushes just that little bit further along and we're gonna use brushes as an actual mask, okay, to mask through this galaxy. We'll add a little bit of realism with some black smoke. Okay, we're gonna use cool smoke brushes like that. Let's learn how to install them and use them as a mask in Photoshop. Let's open up our files. Let's go to File and Open. And let's go to our Exercise Files in Brushes. And there's gonna be two. There's gonna be brushing 04 and 05. So open up both of those for me. So we've got our galaxy and we've got our man sitting on the bench. So the difference between this one and the last one is we're gonna be using masks as well as the brushes. So first up, we need to install our brushes. So with Photoshop open, go to your exercise files. And in here, there's one called Smoke Brush. You can see it's a lot bigger in terms of file size. I'm gonna double click it. And hopefully now in your window under brushes, where are your brushes? You've got, I'm gonna scroll up, twirl up drips, and there's Smoke Brush, twirl them down. So those are the ones we're gonna be using. So the way this works is we're gonna grab all of this. So brush 05, grab our move tool, click hold, drag, 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 holding down, holding down, let go. And I'm just gonna, it's roughly the right size already. So I don't need to transform it. That's gonna work for me. And what we wanna do is we're gonna add a layer mask. We did this earlier on in the course. I'll show you kind of the basics first before we do the smoke. So I'm gonna add a layer mask to it and nothing happens. Okay, white shows everything through. So if I grab my brush tool and I pick not the drippy brush, just the regular general brushes, I'll use this first one here. Remember we did the before and after? So black's my foreground color and we kind of did that. We painted half of it in and half of it out. So remember black, when I'm painting on the mask, hides things. And I'm gonna keep going until I've covered the whole thing. To bring it back, I use the white brush. So I can toggle these and instead of using this big ugly brush, Okay, I'm gonna use the smoke brush to bring it back. And that's the trick. So we're using the brush to paint on the mask to show the galaxy through. So I'm gonna to go to my brushes panel and I'm going to find my smoke brushes and pick a starting one. This one here is probably the best one to get started with, seven. Okay, the brush is probably way too big. Click, click, yeah, it's way too big for what I want. So I'm gonna lower the size. I'm using white. I'm making sure I'm working on my mask, not the image, I'm working on this mask. And I'm just gonna have a click once. It's not a very sophisticated tool, so if you do it twice, they're gonna start looking like they repeat. Okay, so what I like to do is under brushes, there's brush settings. It's just the icon above it. And you can start messing around with the rotation. So it just means when you do it again, it looks a little bit more random. If you've bought a brush or found a little bit more sophisticated one, you might find something a little bit better than the one that I found for free. I'm go back to brushes. I'm gonna find something else. I'll try this one here. It's going the wrong way. So in brush settings again, you can go through and say flip X or Y. So it's coming out the other way. Now, if it's got the target as well, it means that the brush is way too big and it can't see it. So I'm gonna use my square brackets to make it smaller. And there we go. I want it to kind of look like it's coming out of his head. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Back to my brushes, that one as well. It's too big. Use my square brackets next to my peaky. Oh yeah, and I want a bit more of a filler in the middle here. So what I might do is actually just go back to a regular brush. So general, soft round, and still using white, but I'm just gonna fill in some of this kind of middle part just to give it a bit of guts. Now it looks okay. What I wanna do though is get a bit of a, an effect so it looks like his, you know, it, that interaction here through his head's not great just appears. So what I'm gonna do is create a new layer and just use a straight out black brush because it's a silhouette, it's gonna work. So brush tool, I'm gonna go to my brushes, not these general ones, my smoke brush. And just like before, I'm gonna find one that I like, something a little bit different that I haven't used yet. I use that one. And I'm not working on a mask this time, I'm actually just gonna use a straight out black Okay, so pick black for your foreground color, pick an appropriate brush size. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm gonna click on his head. I might turn down the opacity a little bit as well. It's maybe coming out through a little strong. The brush there, I'm gonna use a different one. Maybe this one. Yeah, it looks 
cool. Brush settings, play with the rotation. Now I'm just messing about because that's the that's the thing I wanted to do, right? I'm just now going to go through and uh, see if I can make it look a little realistic as a galaxy coming out of somebody's head would be. Cool. Getting there. That's kind of what I was looking for. Kind of. All right, so we use the brush as a mask. We also used it just as a straight out brush. And because they're on their own layers, we can go through and kind of either delete the mask and start again or build it up or lower the opacity. And that is how to do the kind of smoke galaxy coming out of my brain effect in Adobe Photoshop. All right, let's get into the next video.